My friends, I have to admit a serious problem, and that is that I am a wallet whore. Now, what makes this infinitely worse is that I don't just hoard regular wallets, I hoard magic wallets. If you're unfamiliar with the premise, these are special wallets that allow you to do certain things, like for example, make things appear. And what this wallet allows you to do is to have a wallet in your pocket or potentially in their hands, and you have a card selected. In this case, Whoa. we have the five of spades. That card is lost thoroughly into the middle of the deck. It really doesn't matter. And we draw attention to the very wallet that they had on their person from the very beginning. Guess what, my friends, in the action, of just taking this wallet, which is a smaller wallet inside of the wallet, you could figure it out, that inside of the zipper, we have a single playing card. And if you haven't guessed that that's their card, well, I don't know what to tell you. Now, personally, as of late, I've carried two wallets on me. One, which is my actual wallet, a Kate Spade Year of the Pig special one. This wallet holds some sentimental value as it's a, uh, a pig and I love pigs. And this is what contains my normal credit cards, a little notebook and a small pen. I also have a separate wallet over here in my right pocket that contains my keys, a lighter, and a special flashlight. I find this is the best system to have because it packs flat and I have a lot of utility. And also, I'm ready for certain things. For example, let's say my motorcycle breaks down where well, I have the tools necessary to fix that. Now, that's not to say that this wallet isn't any good. This one right here actually happens to be my very favorite magic wallet. This is called the Hip Pocket Mullica Wallet. Now, it has a lot of features that I think I enjoy in a specialized magic wallet. You might look at this and think it looks a little bit too big and you might be right. This wallet is not necessarily for everyone, but I think it's a great one. It fits in your back pocket, it fits in your front pocket without any problem, even in tight jeans, even in tight dress pants. And it allows you to do the exact same trick that you just saw me perform. Now the benefit to that is that you don't have to do any sort of palming. Many times with these special wallets, what they require for you to do is to have them in your pocket in a certain way and you would have to sneak or palm their card outside Side. You can now place that apparently in the wallet as you remove it and now you're able to find a selected card inside of the wallet. With the Hip Pocket Mullica wallet, you don't need any of that because this wallet has a special feature in that it contains a smaller wallet. So now you have a nesting set of wallets. The trick becomes that much more impressive because it's not just inside of a wallet, it's inside of a wallet that's inside of a wallet. And it's facilitated by this little slit that's inside of the wallet that allows you to surreptitiously sneak a card inside of a zippered compartment. Now it goes without saying that the best way to perform this is with the wallet inside of the wallet because it becomes that much more impossible. A signed selected playing cards goes from the deck of cards to the inside of a wallet that they've been holding the entire time. No, 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 no. However, you don't need the exterior wallet. You could do the exact same trick with just the inner wallet. This allows you to take a smaller wallet like this, which fits even easier in your pocket. And you could essentially do the exact same thing. You open up the wallet, you pull the zipper, and guess what, my friends? Inside of the wallet, we have a single playing card, which happens to be the signed selected playing card. Another great feature about this wallet is the gold zipper, which I'm gonna be talking about after I mention my brand new book, The Art of the Squeal, available now. Link in the description section below. It's a magic book full of anecdotes, full of tricks, full of moves. Even if you're not a magician, you should pick it up because it's a fun read. And if you're not a magician, you should check out the Pit Cape Magic Academy where you could learn how to become a magician. All those little bits and bobs are tricks and tutorials that you get access to the moment you sign up. 1400 videos going over everything that you need to become the best magician you could possibly be. The zipper being gold is apparently an idea that dates back to Tommy Wonder, a wonderful magician in Close Up Magic. And what that zipper does is that it draws the eyes to the zipper. You're doing sneaky things in the back of the wallet. You don't want them paying attention to that. And if you have good technique, they shouldn't be paying attention to it. But what does help is having this gold zipper that draws the eyes directly to it. So any sort of sneaky action where you're taking the card and placing it underneath is completely dissipated because of the attention being drawn directly to the zipper. And if you haven't figured out, this wallet could be used for other things that aren't necessarily just playing cards. So in this case, we have a little wallet that's, uh, well, if you haven't figured it out, inside of a bigger wallet. And inside of that one, well, if you haven't guessed it, I have a zipper that you could pull. And inside of that zipper, what do I have? I actually have a uh, magazine with bullets inside, uh, just in case you need to have an extra one on your person. In the actual tutorial, they show you how to pull things like eight balls from the wallet and other different off the wall ideas. I think it's a great pickup. It is rare to find now, so if you find it, I suggest you pick it up. I got mine first time I went to New York, and I think it's probably the best way to do the card to wallet magic trick effect. You like that, don't you, wallet? You like that, don't you, wallet? Now, personally, I suggest on not having a regular wallet become your actual trick wallet that you used to perform magic with. The reason for this is because this wallet contains some sensitive information. This has 
some IDs, this has some credit cards, this has some insurance cards, things like that that you really wouldn't want people to actually see or delve into. I also have approximately four Viagra pills just in case. That's not to say that you can't make a wallet that you use for magic seem like it's your everyday wallet by filling it up with mundane unused cards, credit cards that don't work anymore, blockbuster cards. You could actually use this and make it seem like it's your everyday wallet without having to compromise any information of your actual life. Now, that's not to say that you need a specialized gimmick expensive wallet to do things. You could just have, for example, a regular wallet. This one is one that I bought from Timu.com recently for about $1.80, and uh, this could go on the table. The participant is instructed to select any card they want. Let's say it happens to be the queen of clubs. They could sign it, whatever they want, and ultimately the card is lost in a deck. We then bring attention to the wallet where, guess what? We have a, a playing card that's inside. There's nothing else inside of the wallet. They could see that. And we've had a single card inside. The wallet could be examined. It doesn't really matter. And guess what, my friends? Inside of the wallet, we have a single card, which happens to be theirs. And that's just done with a, um, well, that's for another video. Some advice at the end of the video. Uh, let's see if I could find something around that I could talk to you about, maybe give you some advice based on. Usually I like to use things in my environment to give you advice on that's separate from the content of the video. So that way you get some actual real life tangible things that you could take. Um, I recently had a humidity problem in my apartment because uh, I like to hand wash and dry my clothes myself. I like to do it because my clothes end up cleaner. They end up lasting longer because they're not in a cesspool of a washing machine with other clothes and articles of whatever that you've included in there. However, the problem with that in an apartment like mine is that it builds up humidity. So I got one of these humidity pouches to see if I could soak up that humidity. Even the walls seem to be moist. It's a little bit odd. Uh, I know the problem is easily solvable by drying your clothes outside like a human, but uh, it's been raining a little bit. So I decided to try to uh, have my luck at having the clothes dry inside. So my advice to you would be don't do that. Don't do that. Be patient. Wait to wash your clothes when there's some sun outside so you could dry them outside like a normal individual. And hand wash your clothes. Hand wash. Uh, you could dry your clothes in a dryer. That's perfectly fine. But I suggest to hand wash it. Do the ritual and you're going to see that your clothes are going to last longer and smell better. Uh, now this shirt uh, can't be a judgment for that because I intentionally wear this shirt uh, and I don't wash it to make it seem like, well, I'm a little bit kookier and crazier than I actually am. This is my beater shirt for these videos. So don't look at this shirt with its bacon collar and think, wow, look at the kettle calling the pot black. Uh, this shirt doesn't count. I see you again when 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 I see you again